direct from Dallas, Texas, Mr. Eric Vale and Monica Rial. Hi. And who are you? And ladies and gentlemen, direct from space, yes. Mr. Christopher Savage. Thank you, thank you. Space is so far away, guys. Okay, so in Dragon Ball Z in particular, I play Trunks, future Trunks, and uh, not everyone knows this, but I also uh, portray the world tournament announcer. That's right. He's kind of more my favorite than Trunks. Because he looks like me. My name is Monica Rial, and uh, I play Bulma in Dragon Ball Z Kai. And I'm Christopher Sabat. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I was on Dragon Ball Z. I was Vegeta, and I was Piccolo, and I was Yamcha and Mr. Popo. And like everybody else. Uh, you know, bef before we get started, uh, I'm going to, first off, compliment you guys because I notice a significant lack of people holding up their cameras and recording this. Ow! So kudos to you guys, except for you. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, I'm pointing at you. <laughs> but the rest of you, right on. There's Liv living in the moment, I'm proud of you. <laughs> We've learned the a lot this the weekend. The anti-recording thing is very important to Eric. Some of these folks might not have been here yesterday for your speech ah. on that. Right, well, it, I've, I've said it a whole lot, and I, I've said it before, and I think some of these people, you weren't upstairs just now, but some of these people were at the um, Ruin Your Day panel. Raise your hand if you were there just now. And those people... How well, had their, had their day ruined, and some of them, maybe their lives ruined. And yet, and yet they followed you down here for more abuse. <laughs> right? I don't know what happened. I think that should be the name of the panel in the future, is Eric Bill Ruins Lives. Uh, yeah, anyone who went from that yeah. last panel to this panel is, is just a cry for help. Yeah, <laughs> yeah totally. <laughs> so, I guess... Uh, there is one notable exception, and I've seen a lot of the little kids do it. They ask you the question, but they've got the camera holded at you, so they've got the recording of your response talking to them. The, it's, it's one thing to try and record the whole panel, but yeah. your moment in the sun, your one minute. Yeah. That's, and, and that's fair. That's fair. I, and there are moments that you do want to record. You want uh, to record things like that, your wedding. Um, this one's a two-parter. Or number one, can we get a family photo of the Vegeta family? <laughs> I like. Yes, it. we'll tweet you one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Should we? Can we do like? Uh, a we have to call photo? it the Vegeta family. Yeah, why is it the Vegeta family? Why can't it be the Bulma family? Uh, it's, it would actually be the Jenkins family because that's the lesser known last name of Vegeta and all of his family. Right. It's Vegeta Jenkins. <laughs> it was King Vegeta Jenkins. King Vegeta Jenkins. <laughs> yep. Turles Jenkins and. <laughs> Broly Jenkins. Hey. All right. <laughs> okay. Woohoo! That was Woo! easy. That was awesome. I love all these. It was a two party though, because it gets harder. Hey, yo. <laughs> the second question was a bit of expansion. Yep. What does the average family vacation look like for Vegeta and his family? <laughs> Vegeta, do you have to wear the pink and yellow ensemble again? Shut up, uh. I didn't even invite you. Uh. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit in the car. Shut up and train. My question is for you. Um, how do you feel like Vegeta's like progression from the beginning when he like hates Goku, you know, oh, I wanna kill you, to like all the way to the end where he like matures and changes and you know Does he they mature? kinda become like, you know, kinda like Rival friends and stuff like that. I think that's honestly my favorite part about the show. Like, that's what I like the most about Dragon Ball Z. I love Vegeta's development over the series. It's, it's awesome to me. That's why I like Vegeta far more than I like Goku. Because I think Goku is <laughs> a stupid character. And I'm sorry, I'm going to say it. I don't really think he's a very good character. He doesn't change that much towards the end. In fact, he becomes worse towards the end. It's I, like I agree. He abandons his children by the end of the show. Wow, well, that's... <laughs> Good for you, Goku. Great, great job. Hi, I have my brother Jared on the phone. I was wondering if you could say it's over 9,000 for him. <laughs> sure, who is that? My brother Jared. Brother Jared? Hey, Jared. Thank 
you. Sure thing. Can I add someone else to the call, though? No. Uh, let me add someone. No, um, <laughs> don't. Let's add uh, Gma. Who's Gma? That's can we, my grandma. Can we? <laughs> don't. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> no, you didn't. My brother was already on the call, so you just had to add my grandma. Hello, Gma. Hello, Jared. This is Vegeta. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's wait. Hey, Gma. Hey, Jared. We got together for a bit of a family reunion for me to say, it's over 9,000. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you so much. And now it's saved. You're going to have to somehow convince your grandmother to give you that message on our answering machine. <laughs> hey, what's hey, up? Hey, uh, I got a two-part question as well. Um, what's your thoughts on Dragon Ball Evolution? Uh, what are my thoughts on it? The yeah. Probably the same as yours, actually. Um, uh, I, one of the best movies ever made. I, I mean, come on. The best. The best. Uh, all right. Question number two. What's your uh, opinion on Dragon Ball Z Kai? Probably the same as your opinion on it, uh, Finn. Yeah. No, I, I love Dragon Ball Z Kai. Uh, I, I like it for a completely different reason than I like Dragon Ball Z. You can't really compare the two, though. You know, one's the edit of the other, but instead of just, like, cutting it down and stitching it together and giving you kind of like, hey, here's the Cliff's Notes version of it, we decided to kind of re, uh, re-record it and and retranslate it so it's as close to the Japanese as possible. So people who are a big fan of the original series may not like Kai as much because they're like, wait, where are all my favorite lines? Like, some of the cast has changed. And so for that reason, it kind of sucks. But if you really do want to, if you really do want to experience what Dragon Ball Z is technically supposed to be, as far as the Japanese were concerned, uh, Kai is the way to go. So it's like you get something extra. It's like a, it's more of an extra feature that you can choose to watch or not watch. Did they fix the uh, 9,000 quote? Uh, I gave them both. The, I gave them over 9,000 for TV and 8,000 for uh, the, the DVD. DVD. Okay. So you have both now. Um, just wanted to say thank you guys for coming to Miami in the perfect week where the weather's great and we don't have humidity. I'd um, like to speak for Monica and I'd say you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> um, my question is mainly for Chris. Um, uh, can you recall when you first auditioned way back when, a billion years ago, when you auditioned for Dragon Ball Z? Um, oh, it was a billion years ago, guys. It was a billion that's, years that's ago. That's not an insult. Chris, the series is old, not you. Uh, no, no, I'm really old, too. Uh, I do remember auditioning for that. <laughs> it was a really, really long time ago. Uh, I was going to school at the University of North Texas, and I got a page. That's how old I am. Uh, you guys, because uh, I've never seen a pager in your life. Um, I remember. And it's not like the button you press to like let someone know on Facebook that you want to talk to them. It's uh, this is an actual device that we had prior to cell phones. So were you, if you got a message from someone, you had to find a pay phone to call them back. Anyway, I got what are a page. Those? I, I got a page from them, <laughs> and it said, "Hey, uh, I called them back. It was a friend of mine. Said, hey, we're auditioning for this Japanese cartoon. You want to be involved in it?'" And I said, uh, "Sure. Yeah, I've seen." Ghost in the Shell, I've seen Akira, I've seen pretty much every Jap anime out there. Um, so I uh, so I went out there and auditioned for it, and I got the part of Yamcha and Igor. And it was like really like this homegrown family thing. There were like three people there, and nobody knew what they were doing. <laughs> and then they asked if I would help cast and direct the rest of the series. And that's a long story that I could tell for a really long time. I'll probably have to save that one, or else I'll, I'll hurt your brain. But it was really ghetto back in the early days of Funimation. It was it was like Wild West recording. Nobody like all the equipment was like a toaster plugged into a refrigerator that was plugged in to like a cassette recorder that was just like being run by a horse that was being pushing the <laughs> pushing the tape around. So you didn't initially just go in knowing like, oh I wanna be Vegeta, you just No they just were like, here you're gonna be this guy. I didn't have a clue who anybody was because at that time, uh this is remember a million years ago. Yes. This is prior, really, to the internet, so you couldn't just go look up 
what is Dragon Ball? So you all you had was like a few websites out there. This is like in 1997 or whatever. There's like a few websites that might have actually mentioned the name of it, but you couldn't get a picture of anyone. You couldn't get a descriptions. There were no fan subs. And we didn't even have all the materials back then. So when I got cast as Vegeta and Piccolo and Yamcha, I didn't have any clue what that was going to mean to me or how much I was going to have to work or how destroyed my voice was going to get. <laughs> like, I didn't know at the time. There were all these posters up on the wall, and I go, who's that? And they go, I think it's Goku. And I go, oh, okay, so is that Goku? No, that's Gohan. Like, I thought Gohan had the brown hair. It's like, <laughs> no, that's Goten. I'm like, well, no. So everyone was confused. Okay. So I didn't really know. Thank you. You're welcome. Will ba Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods come out in America? I was waiting for that one. You I'm answer that. I'm glad it's you because he won't kill you. Uh, we can neither confirm nor deny that anything Dragon Ball related exists in this universe and might someday be dubbed by us or another company. Ta-da! <laughs> but I can be willing to bet that somebody really wants to dub it very badly, and I'm going to guess that that person's probably Funimation. Probably. If I was going to venture a guess, I'm going to say that Funimation is probably Maybe trying so. to make that happen. And I think that it's probably pretty expensive. Yeah. <laughs> and and would lots of fan letters to Funimation help? Um, yes, you should yes. address them all to Justin Cook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every single one of them. Blood Justin Cook, him. voice of <laughs> rabbits. All right, there you go. <laughs> hey, it was a good question, though. A lot of people want to know the answer yeah, to that. I wish we too. had an answer for you. Hello. Yes, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Hey. At least I don't wear pink shirts. So. That's a weird Spider-Man outfit, I will I say. No, uh, I don't know what, why you put Chinese on it. Right? It's weird, right? <laughs> um, my question is actually for all of you. Have you ever, um, when you were doing, you know, like voice acting for, you know, Dragon Ball Z or, or for a game or something, gotten sick and halfway, you were like halfway through it or something, and they're like, you know, I can't do it. What, what do they do? Do they postpone it or do they, well, what's... What's the protocol Well, for I that? get sick all the time working on Dragon Ball because I have to work with these fools. But what? No. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> no, I, I don't. Th I've never gotten. You mean like lose our voice? Well, or? lose your voice or gotten like a flu. Because I knew uh, Broly. Vic, I can't even say his last name. But oh, yeah, he gets China? sick all the time. Yeah, but he always <laughs> throws out his voice. Yeah, and he I was blows wondering, hard. Yeah, if he. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If after that, you know, oh, you, you have something else you have to do and, you know. Would it, like in a game where you know games have to come out like at specific times, you know. Yeah. And, you know what do they do? Do they if you're already halfway through, do they just say like, okay, we got to leave you to the end, or do they if do they give you some grace period if you haven't even started yet? Well, it's I think it's a difference between you know being professional and not being professional. You know, you either work or you don't work. You know, and uh, if if you're a professional, you understand what you're doing and you understand how to train your voice, and you understand how to work up to it, you understand, uh, I mean, when you've been working for a long period of time, you've been doing this for a while, you know what you've gotta do to keep your voice trained, you know what you've you gotta do to work up to that particular job. Nobody surprises you. Nobody calls you at eight in the morning and says, hey, you've got a video game to do in an hour. You know, you've got a week, usually, um, to work up to most jobs, and so you can train up to that point. Uh, you know, sometimes you get sick, sometimes you'll go, oh, crap, I got a cold, and I can't go into the studio tomorrow, and they'll reschedule you. You know, nobody wants to, everyone would rather reschedule than recast. It's a much bigger pain to recast than reschedule. Right. Yeah, we'll move the schedule around. Normally, we have a little bit of flexibility. Uh, we've never run into a situation where anyone's been sick for so long, it kind of threw something off. We have had some people that were either gone or out of the country and had to be recast for those reasons or they weren't available. That's about it. Have you ever had anybody throw up in the booth? Uh, like uh, you said get sick and that was my first image was in the middle of a no. line. If like anyone had ever thrown in the, up in the booth, I promise you no one would have ever told me about it because I would have <laughs> flipped out. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> this question's directed towards Chris. Is no. <laughs> I'll answer it for him. Yes. Okay. That's okay. Is it hard doing all those same voices on one show? No. No. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'll let uh, Eric speak easy. for me here. Okay. 
No, it's very simple. Uh, I, I, I train my voice every day by doing throat pull-ups. And um, how do those sound, Chris? No, no. Awesome. No. And uh, it's uh, n I naturally wake up with the golden throat. <laughs> That's awesome. And then I call Eric Vale for advice, and he kind of coaches me into it, and then it all works out. No, it's a, uh, it's you know, I'm doing it a really long time, so I've been kind of used to doing it. But there is a specific order that I have to do the voices in, mostly. It's usually like, and I'll ask any actor who has to do, you know, a strenuous stuff. Like when he comes in to do Trunks or the tournament announcer, yeah. we have to ask, okay, which one do you want to do first? Because some days it's a, we I ought to do all your Trunks first. Well, what's your order? I go Yamcha, Yamcha? first, right. then Vegeta or Piccolo second. Um, if there's Corin, that, can, that usually happens first. Mm -hmm. If there's Mr. Popo, that happens first. I, like, Piccolo and Vegeta always go last, and yeah. depending on how my voice feels, it's either going to, like, Piccolo's usually the last, because that's the lowest voice I have, and if I screw up my voice, it doesn't really matter, because Piccolo's just super deep anyway. Yeah. So that answers another reoccurring question. If you ever have to talk to yourself, <laughs> you record all the one set of lines, and you go back and you do all the answers? Yes. Yeah. It's usually the easiest way to keep so everybody in Stay in, in the character. zone? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually, I don't have a question. I just want to say, you know, I'm a big fan, like everyone else here, and I think you guys deserve a big round of applause just for making this show as great as Let's oh. hear it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's You're very kind. Let's thank you. Thank you. You guys make this show exactly what it is, and because Battle of Gods is not what it is, I won't watch it. Oh. Thank you guys for everything. I appreciate it. Well, thanks, oh. man. You're a good man. I like those questions. <laughs> those, that was a really easy one to answer, right? <laughs> Hello. Hi. So I technically have two questions. Would that be okay, or should yes. I just ask That's one? That's great. But ask them only one at a time, though. Okay. This, the first one's for Monica. Yes. During, like, the Namekian art, like, when they're on Namekia, how did it feel, like, the shout in the microphone all the time? Oh, like you had to shout. all she did for that whole arc was just yell at people. Krillin, go, go, ah! Uh, it was fun. You know, funny story. Sometimes we do takes. If you guys haven't seen the DVDs, I don't want to spoil anything for you, but we say dirty words. And people actually, like, die. Um... So, like, sometimes, though, for, like, Nicktoons or for the CW, we have to do pickups because they feel that certain things are kind of questionable. Yeah, they're alternate lines. So uh, I had to pick up a line because Bulma says, get me off of this stupid planet, talking about Namek. And they were like, you can't call the planet stupid. It's not green. <laughs> and I was like, it's not even a real planet. Okay. I forget what we changed it to. Gosh darn planet. Cotton picking. Cotton picking planet. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I yell a lot in real life, so it didn't really hurt or anything. And who doesn't want to yell at, you know, Sonny and People. Colleen all day yeah. long? It's awesome. Yeah. And you're part two. Uh, yeah. What? Have you ever seen Yu-Gi-Oh! at all? Because my question is, who has crazier hair? Dragon Ball or Yu-Gi-Oh? I haven't seen any Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, because they're... they're uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! has some weird hair. <laughs> and Yu-Gi-Oh! is just a bunch of dudes playing cards, right? Yeah, yeah so Dragon Ball wins. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you might have one of my favorite voices I, was I have gonna ever say that. heard. Yeah. Like, awesome. You have you well, such an interesting voice. I like it. I, totally. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any? Do you have any uh, parts memorized from shows or anything? Can you do it? Can you uh, do you remember a part of something like a, a specific line? Um, give me a second to remember. I could have sworn I have to think about it. Sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> I should have. Uh, I should have already been recording you. I should have <laughs> been recording you before I even asked. Yeah. Sorry, I just for some reason I just. Want to give something to say? Uh. uh Let's see. Uh, let's get. Let's give him. Uh, give her something that you can remember. Uh, wait, wait. As, as a character, say the pledge of allegiance. Oh, that's a good one. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to and to the republic for which say and stand, one planet, under King Vegeta. <laughs> and and my piccolo be angry at all. 
Perfect. That was awesome. What's your feeling on DBZ Abridged, in particular Nappa? I've never heard of that. What is that? Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Do you what know what they're talking about? I have no idea. Not it's a clue. Is that even English that you're speaking? Dragon Ball Z is a bridge. <laughs> it's a, a it's 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 a bridge. It's like a it's like a shorter version of the show that I think you can read in an That's encyclopedia. That's Kai. You mean you Dragon Ball Z Kai, Kai. right? Yeah. 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 Or is it like a literal bridge that Shenron's on, right? Yeah. It's like it's like it's like the, the big it's like a dragon's on a bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Dragon's on a bridge. <laughs> Ten minutes. Okay. The the shows are actually 22 minutes long, so maybe you guys are just watching half of it, and that's like what you think is a different show or something. Well, it's I think that's what it is. It's like they take Dragon Ball Z episodes, cut them in half, and then you can just watch like the first half of the oh, okay. show. Okay, okay. It's easier that to sounds watch like a that good on, idea, a, on an iPhone. That sounds like a easily much easier to download. So. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, we do the voice. Yeah, th we did the voiceovers really? over the I Japanese to put it in, in English. Yeah, that's and what, we're pretty funny. You might be confused because maybe you've seen the Japanese one first, and that's why. So when you see the that's probably English one, that's probably what you're dealing with. On a yeah. bridge. Okay. And you're watching it on a bridge. Yes, we've heard of Dragon Ball Z a bridge. Come on. And it's I funny. It's like, oh, wait it up. We're totally messing up. And you. somebody yes. was really <laughs> upset over there. It's like, no, <laughs> no. You're not on a bridge. <laughs> You are wrong about all of that. That was fun. Yes, we've seen it. It's a good. It's it's hysterical. I love those guys to death. I've never heard of Napa. Who's Napa? It's cabbage, right? Cabbage. Napa is a is a region of California, right? What? No, I I, I took I took a Napa yesterday afternoon. I want a Napa yeah. right now. Yeah. Um. All right. I know I'm about to get annihilated by about. 100% of the people in this room, but I've never seen anything slightly Dragon Ball related. I would, however, like to get into the show. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait. This is a very hard for him to admit this. And he just said he wants to get into the show. What do we do when we find new friends? Yeah. We We're punch nice them. Wait. Oh. We, That's what you we hug we them. We hug them. Uncomfortably friends. hug them. All right. What was your question? Hi, my name is Jacob. Hi, my name is Jacob. And Hi, I've Jacob. Never seen Dragon Ball Z. And I've never seen Dragon Ball Z. It's okay. Very we good. Love you anyway. It's okay. It's very strong. Very, very brave of you. But you should watch. Uh, yeah. Uh, my question is, is like, how do I get into the series? You know what I'd do? Huh? What I would do is I'd find a dude in the room dressed like Goku. He'd have to know what Goku looked and like. And I'd and I'd ask him. Because he's probably a fanatic. Because he probably would have the best answer. Because none of us have seen it. Ever. That, and that's that guy. He'll have a better answer for you. He'll probably have all of the fan subs already you, for you. You can also usually find a fan site or IMDB, and it will list everything in order. Cool. Start at the beginning. But yay, welcome to the Dragon Ball universe. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. I have two questions. Have you guys ever played any of those Dragon Ball Z games? Yes. Which ones? Budokai 3, Budokai Tenkaichi 2, yeah. um, Budokai Raging Blast. Budo uh, we played all of them. It's totally, you, it sounds like a different language. Yep. Even, I mean, e it is. Even the Kinect <laughs> one. I like uh, the Kinect one I have my mixed feelings about. But I like the Wii version. Did you do voices in the game? Yeah, we did all the voices for the games, too. So then, and remembering it's a G-rated audience, so you played the game where you were the voice. You, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, I did. I played the game. How, how was your gaming experience? <laughs> my, ga my gaming experience was fantastic. What you're getting at is that we play with ourselves. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I play the game with my voice. Uh, my next yeah, question. Sorry. Oh. We're distracted by the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, He's giving me just behave. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was your He's question? the thinker. Okay, uh, Dragon Ball Z is a, is like one of the biggest animes ever. It's been it's influenced many games and anime. How do you feel of its I influence? Like many anime or games kind of rip it off or like do um. Uh, they rip it off. Yeah, they rip it off. Like just parody and satire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like so the. What do you think about that? I couldn't hear the question very well. Oh, I'm like sorry. There are so many other animes that are derivative of Dragon Ball Z. What are your, your feelings on uh, that? Yeah. I think it's kind of 
fun whenever you're doing some other anime that's not related to Dragon Ball whatsoever, and then they go Super Saiyan. You're like, I know what that is. That's from my other show. It's hard to say because you could almost say Dragon Ball Z is derivative of Star Wars to some degree, too. I mean, it, and that Star Wars is derivative of other things, of, of the great story, you know, the, the Great Way West or whatever. I think it, it's, you know, it's flattery. And there are some copies that are terrible, i.e. Baki the Grappler, which might be the worst show I've ever seen. Um, you're welcome. Oh, the five people who went, what? Have, like, seriously need to watch more television. Like, because they're, that, those are seriously the worst. That's one of the worst series I've ever seen. Uh, anyway, I don't get offended. So, uh, I, think it's, I think it's fun. I like it. Um, are you thinking about making another series? Yes. Yes. I wish I could. Uh, I know there there have been rumors that there is another series coming around, but I don't know if we're supposed to be really spreading those rumors because we really don't know if they're true or not. But it would be nice. I would love to see another Dragon Ball Z series. I think everybody should write a letter to Japan and say they want to see like a family sitcom comedy. Send it to Japan it's, via it's Justin it's Cook. <laughs> it's Dragon Dragon Ball A E right after Earth, and it stars Will Smith and his son. <laughs> We would love to do more Dragon Ball, but right now, I don't know that there's any that exists. But if it comes out, yeah, we want to do it. Uh, oh, and can I get a picture with you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Totally. Come on up. But I feel like we have to be more like. Yeah, I feel like we're really casual. Oh. Yeah, I think this is the mom over here. <laughs> uh, that was fun. Hi. Can I get a picture with you? <laughs> <laughs> was that your brother? Is this the same mom? Why did we do both the pictures at the same time? I like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Our staff photographers made an executive decision. I think I speak for half everybody here when I say that you guys were my childhood growing up watching your show and um, I love it. Um. You feel old? Right <laughs> on. <laughs> Especially the the countless the countless hours I spent playing Budokai Three with my friends. Um, <laughs> uh, I just want to say, uh, how does this sound when? Like, can you guys show us how this sounds when Vegeta comes home late at night? Oh, when Vegeta comes home late at night? Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, ah, ah, oh man, Vegeta Kakarot again, beat me. Come on, Boma, agree with me one time. Are you sleeping? You were supposed to be home at eight o'clock. Look, I'm sorry. I, I waited. Was... Your food's cold. Five hundred times gravity. Come on. I'm so sick of your stuff. But Kakarot's winning again. I can I'm not even sure if Trunks is my son. I just want you to love me. Why don't you love me? Let me rephrase the question. I'm not sure if Trunks is my son. Just make sure that, that Yamcha's not around. You know, let's, you are gone for a while. They, let's do, this, and let they Trunks do this every listen. night. I, I'd never want to get in between them. <laughs> Shut up and eat your snacks, Trunks. <laughs> Listen, Dad. Stop drinking. You are grounded from your iPhone. <laughs> Did you see what I can do to an iPhone? <laughs> Don't give me this, I can go to the future and get a better iPhone thing. I'm a woman. <laughs> In a That's terrible, a terrible world. In a terrible world full of big brawny men. <laughs> You are playing fast and loose with the word woman, Mom. <gasps> Vegeta, are you going to let your son talk to his mother like that? Yes, please. Ah! Again. Fast and loose in the same sentence. <laughs> okay, you can have your iPhone back, son. I never win. Never win. Do you guys ever have troubles explaining to people what you do? 
Oh, yeah. Uh, he asked if we ever have problems explaining what we do. Uh, for a while, I used to tell people that I was in textiles because <laughs> they go, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I, I'm a voice actor for anime. <gasps> you speak Japanese? <laughs> no, I don't. I wish I did. I could say soda. That's about it. Do you guys ever have go through that? Uh, you know, I, I, I just tell people I'm an actor. And even then, people don't believe me. I'm like, yeah, I, I'm an actor. And they go, yeah, yeah well, what do you really do? <laughs> I, I, I really uh, am an actor. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you got to do something to, to pay the bills. <laughs> right, because actors just do it for free <laughs> all the time. Everybody that you watch on television, everybody in the movies and everybody on the radio, they're just all doing that for free. Um, People just don't believe it. They think it's just some unreachable goal, and that's not true. Uh, I, I, they think it, you know what, uh, who, who said this quote? Uh, I forget. I read it the other day, uh, that impossible is, is a big word thrown around by small men, you know? And I think oh, that's that what a lot of people think about what we do. Eric has that. Eric has that sweatshirt. I didn't actually. wear that what? today. You Eric actually have. has you that same. It's in my suitcase, but I <laughs> saw somebody wearing that at the con first day, and I'm like, yep, not wearing that downstairs. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't me. Maybe. I don't know. Well, my question is uh, well, well, favorite character? No. No. Wait, what was it? That's oh, a right. good question. <laughs> um, his question is for each of you what is his favorite character? <laughs> Boba yeah, Fett. <laughs> no, like, what's your favorite blooper? What's your favorite mistake that you've done on while recording? I'm sure y'all have a lot more than I do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, it's not my favorite blooper of mine, but it's a favorite blooper I heard happened to a director at Funimation one time, like a while back, where uh, there was an a older woman who was in the booth. And, you know, sometimes when you get the right take of a line and somebody makes a mistake with their mouth, like there's a squishy noise or something, the, you know, like a something like that that you make with your nose or something, the engineer can remove that, that little squish and keep the good acting and the good take, right? And so they will scrub it. They will move the take back and forth until they find that thing and then remove it and then keep the take. Well, this older woman was in there. She said the right line. It was a good take. And there was a noise in the middle of the take. And the engineer kept scrubbing it back and forth. And it was making the woman in the booth more and more nervous the more they scrubbed it. And she kept saying, uh, let me just get it again. Can we just record it again? Let me just get it again. Let me just get it again. And the director's like, no, this is, it's a good read. Let's just Let's just pull that thing out. And the engineer couldn't quite get it out until they all realized it was a fart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. I can't think any uh, of any specifically for Dragon Ball, but uh, I was working on Burst Angel, and I had a line that was, uh, wipe that smirk off your face. And I did my take, and it was, wipe that smurf off your face. <laughs> Who do you think will win in a fight between trunks and stocking? Stocking? What? <laughs> He's at, he has, doesn't even seen Penny and Stocking, have you? Are you in Nope. Oh. I'd win. So trunks. <laughs> I don't know. No, do you know who stocking. would totally win would be okay, trunks stocking. wearing stockings. Yeah, trunks wearing stocking stockings would be great. What she says. I, I, I Honestly, I don't know. Superman. <laughs> Why not? All right, next up. When you guys were doing the voice acting, if, it, if Dragon Ball Z had ended early, what do you think would have happened to you guys? You guys would have moved on to the next project? Did you guys have something in the works, or what, what, what would have happened? What we, do you think? I think we've always got something in the works. I mean, not yeah. Dragon Ball-wise, but... I don't know. That's actually kind of an, important, like, an interesting question for us, though. If Dragon Ball Z had ended like really early, if it had just... Like, like Frieza, they were supposed to end at the Frieza saga, but everyone wanted to continue it, so he, d so he made the Cell saga and then the Boo saga, and then he left. I, I don't. Uh, I mean, it. It really depends. I mean, I don't know. Um, I don't know what Funimation would have done after that because they didn't have any show, any other shows besides Dragon Ball Z around then. So we probably would have uh, went back to delivering pizzas and stuff. 
No, I would have gone back to delivering pizzas. I delivered pizzas to you. I know. <laughs> that was convenient. <laughs> I was hoping the show would end so Eric could bring me more pizzas. That was a good job, man. Since you've played so many characters in Dragon Ball Z, which one do you think just absolutely demolished your voice? Uh, it was a combination of all of them, but I would say that Vegeta of all of them just absolutely destroyed my voice, <laughs> just destroyed it. Especially the first time around where it was two, three minute long screaming sessions. I mean, Eric knows what I'm talking about. Anyone who's gone through the Dragon Ball thing, it's like hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of screaming and no rest because when we were first working on that show, and Eric can testify to this too, there wasn't a lot of relaxation time. We were racing to get that show on television. So there, the guy who asked about if you were sick or you had a cold or whatever, there was no stopping. Like if you were sick or had a cold, like, hey, Goku sounds sick today. Yeah. The trunks sound sick today. And and what Chris is failing to mention is that this was before the digital age. Wow. We were recording on tape. and against tape. 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 So we had to rewind to do the next take. So everything took a little bit longer. And, and it was a little more up, of a pain. It took forever to set it up. Again. Yeah. I still have nightmares of that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we recorded we recorded digitally, but it was still slaved to a it was still slaved to a tape deck. So in order to see the video, you, they had to you know you had to sign where you wanted the video to start playing. And then the process, like, uh, this, is, this is exactly, and I'm going to do this in real time, how long it would take to start take. All right, Eric, uh, we're going to go ahead and get Trunks line uh, 121. Okay. This is the line where uh, Trunks, uh, I'm going to give you a line read real quick. Trunks says, Okay. Hey, Bomo, how's it going? All right, okay. All right, here we go. Uh, it's line 121. <laughs> Hold on a minute, Eric. Uh, the tape, right. tape started rewinding to the head. Hold on, because right. the jam sync wasn't turned on. Hold okay. Vin 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 uh, can you give me that wild? Hey, Bulma, how's it going? Can you give me a wild one more time? Shouldn't it be mom? Okay, hold on. Uh, sorry, the tape stopped. <laughs> like it, and there were times where if someone had forgotten to rewind the tape uh, for an episode and it was you had to go record the beginning of the episode, you could go down and smoke a cigarette because that's what people did back then. Uh, go down and smoke a cigarette because it took like 20 minutes to just rewind the tape. It was crazy. Those noises were giving me chills. I yeah. know, seriously, it freaked me out a little bit. I almost curled up in the fetal position. Uh, I spent 10 years sitting next to that stupid machine, so I'm, I'm done with it. Thank you. That was really sweet of you. I'm glad that you came to the convention. We love Woo! seeing new people. First, I want to say that Vegeta has always been like my crush since I was a little oh. girl. <laughs> oh, what did she say? Vegeta's been her crush since he was oh. little. Don't tell my man. Vegeta's a huge fan of you too, by the way. <laughs> he told me that. that he writes long. letters about you <laughs> it, with the four English words he knows how to write. Um, but I want to know what's your favorite Vegeta line? Favorite Vegeta line is. Uh, it would be uh, men in pink. How bizarre. I'm a warrior, not a variety of flower. <laughs> yeah. And then also um, for all you guys, what other besides Dragon Ball Z have you guys done? Like what voiceovers? Not much. Well, really haven't new. done anything. Yeah. We're pretty new. It's just Dragon We've Ball. done a lot of other stuff. Eric, yeah. <laughs> you start. What? What uh, What other things have you done since quick Dragon rundown, Ball Z? Quick rundown of your resume. Oh, gosh. Uh, America and Italia, Yuki and Fruits Basket, Kimberly and Full Metal Alchemist, Sanji and One Piece, others. <laughs> Monica? It's funny because we could probably name the shows and be like, 
One Piece. Yep. One Piece. Zora. We're all in One Piece. We're all in yeah. Case Closed. We're all in. What are some of the other ones? Full Metal Alchemist. We're all yep. in Brotherhood. We're all in. Patty and the Stocking Goo. Patty and the Stocking Goo. And all kinds of. Actually, Anime News Network online, like, they're really good about keeping all of our. Like, all you have to do is look up our names, and it'll have everything we've ever done. So that's a good place to go. Do you and Scott McNeil ever have a friendly piccolo rivalry? Nothing's ever friendly between Scott McNeil and I. <laughs> No, I, we, we have a friendly rivalry. I love, I love Scott McNeil. When I first was working on Dragon Ball Z, I kind of had to copy his voice, which is a very difficult thing to do because he had such a great piccolo yeah, voice. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I have a lot of reverence for the Canadian voice actors. They're awesome people. Awesome. Thank you, guys. I don't Thank get to everybody. see them nearly as much as I wish I could. So my question is, if you guys have heard of a series called Death Battles and how you feel about Goku versus Superman and the outcome, I've not heard of this death battles you speak of. Well, you Vegeta would win because Vegeta is real and go and, and Superman's not. It's a very good series. I think you guys should watch it. I'm not advertising or anything like that. But the point is, at the end, they actually said Goku lost to Superman. What? Yeah. Are we talking Henry Cavill Superman? Look, because I'll let that pass. Look, Just look in general. It's real Superman. simple, and I hate to say it. Superman's an American. <laughs> Is that in his favor or against? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Would you guys ever do a continuation of after the Cell Saga, you know, Dragon Ball Z Kai, the Majin Buu Saga? Yes, I would love to continue it. Yes. Forever. Yeah. All right. Let's Thank continue. You. Thank you. <laughs> no sure. problem. It's so hard to hear you got your the questions from up there. Um, she wants to hear you do the 9,000 bit. Could so you say that again a little louder? The 9,000, over 9,000. Oh, she wants to Over 9,000! No, like <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it? <laughs> that was really anticlimactic. They're like, oh, we all came here to hear that guy go over 9,000, and he didn't do it. <laughs> Although, you know who could do it? That dude over there! It's over 9,000! <laughs> he just did it. All right, so we're going we're gonna to finish up with one more thing here. We're going to throw our photographer up on stage. If you guys set the mics down and walk over here to the end of the apron. Oh, we're going to do a Yeah. You guys come down here. All right, now when you guys turn to face the photographer, you're all getting your picture taken with the cast. All right, just like take a knee or something like that. Take an E if you can. I'll take there we go. All right. Remember, that you're all in the picture. Don't block the people behind you. Everybody go. Supercon. One more time. Supercon. All right. Now, when that turns up on the Supercon Facebook page, you can all tag yourselves to it. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big Miami send-off for our Dragon Ball Z cast. They'll be doing periodic signings at their table, which is over in row 500. Thank you very much.